Welcome to the course Code of Life. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you here from the OpenHPI Recording Center in Potsdam. My name is Mathieu Schapranov and I will be your lecturer for this course. And in the next couple of minutes, I'd like to give you a brief overview of what you can expect from the course and what not. First of all, who is our audience? Um, we, we, we have a structure like, like this. We start uh, this massive open online course uh, in a two-week frame of teaching sessions followed by a one-week Q&A and final exams. So the format is typically that we provide short teaching sessions focusing on a very specific topic where you have the chance afterwards to test your understanding and understanding tests which are not uh, relevant for the passing of the course. However, this is relevant for you to improve your knowledge. Um, then you have access to a huge learning community. Everyone who is um, enrolled in this course is able to contribute to this course, use the online forum to discuss and exchange with the fellow students. And of course, you have also direct contact to a huge teaching team of experts here in Potsdam, which help you if any problems occur. In the end, you have to pass two exams, one per week, and one final exam at the end of the course to pass the total course. And again, who is, who is our audience? It's not like here, the popular um, Gregory House, which is a popular artist from a TV show, um, he knows most probably everything about medicine. Our, however, our audience is pretty broad. Um, we are not designing this course for computer scientists only. Um, first of all, we address everyone who's interested to, to get an understanding, a latest understanding on how, how life works on planet Earth and how to understand what fundamental functions in the body are responsible for that and how this can be used to improve the treatment, for instance, in, in medical care. But it also addresses, and this is the primary purpose, students of any kind of life science discipline and natural science uh, who want to be able to talk to other experts from other disciplines. For instance, computer scientists, biologists, and geneticists. So we equip you with the right knowledge and the right terms and definitions to understand what other people are talking, even if they are not in your field of expertise. Moreover, we also address researchers of natural science who want to understand why work in interdisciplinary teams is important and what are the results could look like. Clinicians who want to understand which kind of IT tools are available to support them in their daily life, of course. And professionals who want to broaden their horizon to understand what are latest trends in e-health and life sciences. So what, what can you expect from us? So the first thing is you see here on the right hand side a dark entry to a, gray, to a cave. And typically this is what you feel in the first week because it's a lot of new topics and a lot of new definitions and components you never, might, might never heard about them. The first thing is you, you, you will get an introduction about how was DNA discovered. Uh, we will introduce you a real world use case which is very important nowadays. Uh, it's precision medicine in oncology. And we will introduce you all the fundamental components within human cells. What is DNA, what is RNA and how does it work? And we also introduce how does the life cycle of these cell works, how does replication work and so on, and how does um, genetic changes occur. And this equips you more or less with the biology foundation for understanding what happens and what are the sources for any kind of alterations, which will be important for the next week. And then the next week, when you are interested to enter this cave, it might look completely different once you're in there. And you see here a nice view to, to a beach in the second week, you will uh, discover completely new topics, which are um, giving you the possibility to understand what happens once we have this kind of code of life, the DNA, in a digital format. Which, step, which steps are required to process them, to make them available for clinicians and medical experts? It's not a one-shop solution. You have to do a lot of pre-computation. You have to do a lot of interpretation. And this will be part of the second week. It will give you also um, hints and functionalities to, to guarantee reproducible research and also how to interpret um, and find sources for interpretation of these variants. And last but not least, you will have hands-on experiences with latest applications which we developed here together with subject matter experts in these fields all over the globe. So it's pretty, um, pretty hands-on in the second week. The third week, and you see it's getting more and more beautiful here, the view. The third week will be, you, you will have a fundamental understanding of the of biology, but also on the IT side, how these work together and why it's important to work in interdisciplinary teams. So the third week will be um, characterized by your chance to raise any kind of questions, get answers to any open things. 
you will be able to prepare, take your time and prepare for the final exams and provide, of course, this is very important for us, provide your personal feedback. We are constantly working on improving this um, course, therefore we are happy if you can uh, provide us your I like a wish session. And it's a kind of a disclaimer here at the end, what you cannot expect from us and which is also not the purpose of this course. We, we will not provide a complete course in genetics or molecular biology or medicine or any kind of this deep and very important introductions for, for these experts, but we will address the essentials. So you have an overview and you have a fundamental understanding, but this is not a complete course for that. Um, we, we will be also not able to provide any medical advices or consultations because we are no medical doctors here, so please be aware of this. And last but not least, we cannot provide any hands-on experience on wet lab day, um, work, so it's more like a, you will play around with quite modern tools and very important aspects which are available in the IT world, but you will not have access to any laboratory and wet lab stuff. So last but not least, what we expect from you, and this is most important for me to address here, uh, be active, be an active part of this interdisciplinary community, discuss any open questions with fellow students or the teaching team, and also take your time and prepare for the weekly and final exams because they, they might be a little bit more complex than you expect. Communicate with, with your teaching team if you encounter any, any problems or issue with, with functionality provided. And last but not least, we are happy once you are happy, have fun to extend your knowledge, learn something new and exchange with the big community. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I'm looking forward to welcome you in the next week to kick off this interesting lecture.